products and markets. You see, and when you get up there on the stage and people are judging you from your presentations, one of the unique, you know, what everyone here is doing. Yes. There's somebody somewhere else doing the same thing. Yes. Okay? So what you want to try to show is what makes you that special. What makes you deserving of that thing? And that's why strategy comes into it. And you know, we're, we're creating a fit between your vision for your company, right? Your ability to grow into that vision and what would make you grow. What do you think of the contestants? Um, I think that we have some very strong contestants um, and I like the angles that they bring to the business. And I remember that the venture is about innovation, it's about creativity, it's also about social impact um, as a focal point. So yeah, I think we have some strong contenders. So the five contestants were um, really remarkable. Um, so I think what struck out was the fact that they had looked at a lot of the societal problems that we had in the country and come up with um, innovative ways to solve it using their business model. So it really was very interesting. It goes to show the depth of uh, opportunities that exist in, this, in the social entrepreneurial space. It goes to show that there's this huge uh, opportunity for people who want to play in their space to make impact. And um, I, I think there's also an, an, an opportunity for even the contestants themselves to see uh, that th there's more opportunity than they've envisaged in, in coming for this, for, for, this, for this session. But generally a good session and uh, I think we have a, some, some good people with some good ideas that can actually become uh, sustainable businesses in the long run. I think we have some very good ones, uh, we have some uh, average ones, uh, you can always improve the quality of the content but I think we saw enough to, to make a judgment. So tell me what's one big thing about you, tell me your business and one big thing about you that you're trying to communicate to everyone. I'm into waste management and recycling. And um, my key focus, so that my big story is reducing waste to the virus minimum. So my platform is called Omomi. Omomi? Yeah, with yeah. my child. Okay. It's a mobile platform that helps mothers do three things. Monitor their health and have their children. Get life-saving health information for mother and child. And connect with doctors in real time. All that touch of the person. So the big thing that we're doing is that Omomi is every mother's dream. And it keeps mother and child healthy and happy. We are setting a culture change that will end poverty and sustainable environment. We are building sustainable smart cities and community by creating local content women technology to solve Nigeria urban waste crisis through recycling and job creation. You guys have said a lot of English. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to understand one thing. Anything you're selling, you're selling in motion. You must understand that when it comes to pitching, it's it's not just about your level of intelligence to a lot of people who are going to listen to you. Because you are going to be treating them not just as a judge, but as also a sounding board like a consumer and like your customers as well. So how do you balance that? Okay? I'll suggest that if you can, before the time, watch a video called uh, by Simon Sinek. It's called The Why. It's, it's quite, quite um, uh, it's very insightful understand how companies are able to influence people when they're thinking. If you can have the time to just spend some moments, just watch some of these videos, it might, be, it might be useful to you. What do you think they need to do to strive? Nigeria is an entrepreneurial society. We have very good entrepreneurs in the country. Uh, the, sometimes when you're having competitions, it doesn't necessarily bring out the best because there's a difference between doing well in competitions and doing well in business. There are a lot of entrepreneurs in Nigeria who are doing well in business, who are not going through competition. So you can always judge the quality of the entrepreneurship space by what you see in competitions. So the first thing is that this competition is actually only for social entrepreneurs. And if you're not set up to be a social enterprise, you couldn't have applied. Um, however, I think one thing that I've seen is that there's so many social entrepreneurs that do not know that that's what they're doing. Um, and I think that the narrative that we should start having now is on letting them understand that's what they're doing, uh, letting them understand that it is something that is good. And actually, if we want to solve quite a number of the challenges that we have in a very sustainable manner, um, social entrepreneurship is the way to go. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chioma Ufanu. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Recycle Points. 
The cycle point is a waste, money, uh, waste recycling and social benefit venture that rewards citizens for recycling their waste. Um, we are on a mission to end poverty and uh, sustain our environment by uh, introducing proper waste management. So I will uh, start by saying that uh, I was in the banking sector when I had a family vacation and uh, in the UK, we're already mandated to separate your waste, collocated beans all in front of the house. So we wrongly trashed our waste, typical Nigerians, and we got fined for that. And that was how Recycle Point was born. We asked questions and we found out that waste is actually resources over there. Like, what is the menace in our country? And we came back home and we saw the problem the common sites. This is Nigeria. This is actually Lagos, Nigeria. It's a common site to see that our venues are clogged, waterways are clogged, and the landfill are packed. With uh, what, what are the highest volumes of recyclable waste? My idea of going to recycling is because of the trade that I enjoyed and the situation with our environment today. That's just my story. Our vision in our recycling is to really complete end to end waste management and recycling. We are working with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 7 by providing affordable and clean energy for all. We want to make sure solar products are accessible, uh, affordable, and kerosene lamps to provide effective social services. My name is Justin Frederick, founder and CEO of EcoFuture. Waste has always been a huge problem in every community, especially where from the new city and state. As a biochemist, I know that it's really, really a huge problem and the kind of health hazard that comes with it. EcoFuture intends to contribute towards building sustainable cities and communities by creating local content proving technology to solve Nigeria's urban waste crisis. My name is Dr. Charles Akini and I'm the co founder of MobiCure. It's a mobile platform that consists of a web, mobile, an SMS service that will enable women like Sarah, pregnant women and mothers of the five, to do essentially three things. One, monitor their health and that of their children. Second, it provides access to life-saving maternal and child health information. And lastly, it provides access to medical personnel at the touch of a button. Some people didn't make it to this stage. Because what would be your advice to them? There's always opportunities coming up every day. Uh, what they just need to do better is to go and understand better that being a social entrepreneur doesn't mean you live off grants and charities and donations. It's for you to create a sustainable business that has a social impact. So first and foremost, and I, I, I pick my words carefully, it should be a sustainable business having a social impact. So it shouldn't be just because it has a social impact and then it's not financially viable or it's not sustainable long term. So those were the major uh, dividers uh, between those who make it and those who unfortunately will have to repeat some other time. Well, my advice is that you keep striving. Um, failure is just the prompt that you need to work harder and improve and be a bit more diligent, uh, but it shouldn't be something that you, you give up on. Um, uh, many people think that winning the prize is the prize. Well, the prize is actually the process of going through the competition.